Hello everybody, MagusX here, the Volatile Gamer, and welcome to the very first episode of Let's Install Ticket Plugins. Also note that these were for Bucket 2, so stay tuned. Now let's get started. First thing you're going to want to know is how to install plugins, and a few notes along with that. So let's get started here. We're going to go to bucket.org. This is where we are, and once you're here, you can go ahead and click on Get Plugins. I'll throw this link in the description, and at this point, this is where you start searching. What, are you, what kind of plugins do you want? Well, I'm going to say if you're running a server, which is what these are for, keep in mind these only work on servers, okay? So if you're running a server, there's a few things that you're going to want to get started with. And a good one that a lot of people will use are permissions. That's a pretty important one. We're going to get into that on the very next episode. Today I'm just simply going to show you how to install uh, a plugin. So I'm going to go ahead and go with Experience Mod, and I'm actually going to showcase that pretty soon. This is a very handy tool. Basically, with this tool here, you could actually make uh, players get experience for mining, crafting, smelting, and this includes, if you get it, do it right, uh, tech and stuff as well. So even in alloy furnaces and, and all sorts of other stuff. So where is it here? Right here. So once you find a mod that you're interested in, uh, all you have to do is click on the actual page that's going to bring you up. It has lots of features, lots of stuff you're going to want to know. Uh, so definitely take a look around. It shows you commands. Uh, you know, definitely read this stuff. Like, don't just skip this. It's very important that you know what you're dealing with here because once we start getting into uh, permissions and all sorts of other stuff, which is a little bit more complicated, you're going to want to know as much as possible about the mod that you're using. So once you're here, you're usually going to get forwarded to a dev.bucket.org page, which is good. That's where you want to be going. Usually Usually the download is on those are on those pages as you can see here download so once you got that for whatever reason you have to click download a second time because first it opens up a change log that's the way the dev.bucket website works most of the time so go ahead and save that to wherever desktop as always though for me and get that downloaded now while you're here though well let's let's show you how to install first and then we'll get to the important tips and tricks right after so it's very simple to install all you have to do is open up your TechIt server once again or your bucket and uh, go into the plugins folder and simply drag in this dot jar file that you got now that's the first part you also have to launch the server first so if you if you haven't got a server installed or anything like that please do check out my channel uh, I got all those videos out over there and if you have problems check it out again because I have lots of videos for problems that you could have so like I said go ahead and launch that up that's gonna actually make the files that you need and want and have to use to configure the plugin uh, up here so let's go back into the plugins and you'll see right here now I have the experience mod folder so most plugins come with some sort of configuration. Whether or not you have to change them depends on the plugin. Everyone is unique. Uh, but usually it's something like this where you have config files and you need to be able to open them with uh, Notepad. And I would highly, highly recommend using Notepad Plus. So I'm going to throw a link to that in the description as well. And the reason why that is is Notepad Plus is designed to work with the type of coding that these ad plugins rather are using. So it's very, very handy tool. You want to have it. And and you want to use it so that's it that's everything installed so let's see a few tips that you're going to want to do and you might understand this more as you catch me on the next episode of this series but you're going to want to know um, the permission nods and what that is is basically it's a piece of a code that allows you to tell which player or all, or if all players could do a certain thing based on this plugin every plugin is different but for this example I have an experienced mod plugin if I want a certain player to not be able to get experience or to actually be able to get experience at all and benefit from the plugin I have to know these permissions okay so what you can do a good good practice when downloading plugins is uh, go to the dev page and let's see where was that here right here, back up well I'll just back up on this one so you're going to go to the dev page of whatever plugin you're checking out. Now check this out right here. You got some commands, like I said before, but you, you could also see permissions. And it's actually telling you the code or the nod, or node rather, uh, that you're going to need to know. So what I like to do is, I, I know for this one, this is the full list of permissions that are used with this add-on. So I'm going to go and select that and copy it. And I'm actually going to go and put it right in a note folder in my plugins, because that way there I don't have to continuously go back to 
the website. Now you can choose to add the favorites because there might be other information you may want to know and that's more than acceptable. Do whatever works for you but you definitely want to make sure you're paying attention to these permission nodes. Very very important. Very very awesome. So here I go. I'm just going to put it in. I got the XP mod. I'll just call it real quick and I'll save that right there and boom we're good to go so that's the important stuff like I said join me next time and I'll show you how to start setting up these mods with permissions and you could customize them you would have all sorts of fun and then I'm also going to show you how to sh actually use this experience mod and benefit the most from it because you could have some real good times with this stuff alright so hopefully this was helpful for you guys once again this has been Magus X the volatile gamer and please do subscribe if you enjoyed this type of content and rate comment if you need help See you now. Peace out.